A massive kick of Saharan dust is on the move crossing the Atlantic. I'm News 4 Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan to explain how it develops and its impact on us. It develops over about three and a half million square miles of the Saharan Desert as an African easterly jet of wind develops from the uneven, uneven heating of the African desert and the tropical rainforests to the south. You also get a moisture gradient as well. So dust and sand then kicks up from those winds, launch about two miles up into the atmosphere and then travel across the tropical Atlantic. So in terms of hurricane season, it is a warm, dry layer of air aloft that flows over the tropical Atlantic that can really choke off tropical storm or hurricane development it also has some reflective properties to the sun's energy, which can actually act as a cooling agent for sea surface temperatures underneath some of that thick dust. Also do want to point out that it will provide some fertilization as it crosses the tropical Atlantic. Even the Amazon rainforest can pick up on some of the phosphorus, nitrogen and iron that settles organic matter. It could also be a boost to algae blooms and red tide scenarios, which are not good. And of course, it can also provide color rich sunrises and sunsets as it works its way all the way across the Gulf Coast here. And for those of you that suffer those allergy symptoms, understand that it's going to be periodically with us in the weeks ahead, right through the month of July as it winds down into the month of August. That is the Saharan dust explained in a nutshell.